faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is deep. What are you constantly paying attention to? And then the truth is, what are you saying to yourself constantly? Because you are hearing yourself speak first before you are hearing anybody else speak. Oh, I'm good for nothing. Oh, I'm up to no good. There's no how I'm going to pass this exam. There's no how I'm going to get that job. There's no how the year is going to be fantastic. And we keep saying these things to ourselves. We begin to form thoughts, negative thoughts. And once these negative thoughts, we keep having them over and over again, deeply rooted, they form our beliefs. Beliefs are simply stories we've heard over and over and over again. We simply form a belief around it. We believe it to be true. Someone who wrote an exam without preparing for it failed the exam. So now the person believes that, see, any other exam I write without preparing for it, I will fail the exam. No, really, we should prepare before we go write exams, right? I mean, that's the only logical thing. But who says that what has been set is not something you already know? But because we proceed with that kind of belief, guess what? Even if it is something that person knows at the back of their hand or mind, they're going to fail that exam. Because they believe it. Our beliefs, our thoughts, our emotions form the outcomes we have today. Now, back to speaking about faith. Faith coming by hearing, hearing the word of God. The same thing you keep hearing over and over and over again. You form thoughts around it. The problem we have most times to believe in things is our conscious mind. Our conscious mind is a thinking mind. Our conscious mind is when, where we, our logical mind, where we think things through and then we deposit it to our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is like a fertile ground. It's just an empty blank soil. It's neutral. And whatever seed we sow on it germinates. So that's the picture I want you to paint of your subconscious mind. So now your subconscious mind is just this neutral ground. Your subconscious mind is a doing, is a doing mind. It doesn't have time to select is this good or evil? Is this bad or good? Once your thinking mind, which is your conscious mind, accepts anything to be true, it is immediately planted in your subconscious mind and it begins to grow. It germinates it. So once your conscious mind has told you, my boss doesn't like me, you've accepted it, your conscious mind has planted the seed. Anytime your, sub your subconscious mind sees your boss or hears his voice or activates whatever it is that you saw, that made you, you saw, you felt, you heard, that made you come to the conclusion that your boss doesn't like you, guess what your subconscious mind will do? It will simply bring back that same emotion that you felt when you accepted that your boss didn't like you. And you will immediately begin to feel that emotion again. So that is how powerful our subconscious mind is. So whatever it is you feed your subconscious mind with, it takes it based on the environment you spend time with, what you listen to consciously, what you are focusing on consciously, the thoughts you keep having, your subconscious mind just keeps gleaning. And as a doing mind, it does whatever the conscious mind has fed it. Whatever it has told it, this is the way we act, this is what we do in these situations. Immediately, the subconscious mind rolls it all out for us and that is what we see play out every time oh i get angry too often i don't know why i get angry too often this is why you get angry too often exactly so faith coming by hearing that's the same way faith works you are believing god and trusting god for something but yet the thoughts you are having about that thing is not right you are not believing what you want you are believing that it will not work, yet you are hoping that it will work. Do you see how it, they are contradictory? So what has your concept, what have you told your subconscious mind over and over again? You've told it it will not work. Hence, it really wouldn't. But even though you keep praying and you keep believing in quotes that you're going to receive it. Believing has to do with your thoughts. Faith has to do with your thoughts. It is not enough to just say, I believe, I have faith. No. It is what thoughts are you having towards that thing? You are really hoping that you get a new job. 
But all the thoughts you're having is that there are no jobs out there. There is no good job out there. Really. And people are in offices. They are making money. They are building houses. They are buying cars. They are living their best life financially. And yet, you form this belief already that there are no good jobs out there. You go for that interview. You will not get the job. Even if, even though you answered your questions correctly, I mean, they loved you. They fell in love with you. Guess what? You won't get it. You didn't have enough faith to make it happen because your belief, you've told your subconscious mind that you will not get it. So you do not have faith. You are believing something or you are hoping for something, but yet you are believing something different. They contradict one another and they won't work. So we want to pay attention. This is how faith works. Once you can tell your thinking mind, we have it, we have it, we have it. We have a new job. There are good jobs out there. I apply for them and I am called upon for interviews and I answer my questions right and I get the job. Beautiful, wonderful job. I mean, you give your criteria, you are saying these things continuously and you are believing it. That is faith. Faith wells up in you. Keep thinking the same thoughts. Continue thinking the same thoughts and you will have it happen. That's the same thing the Bible spoke about in Mark 11, 23 and 24. You say to this mountain, be ye right, rise up, be ye moved into the sea. He's going to move. Whatsoever you say, without doubt in your heart, it will come to pass. And that is what it is. What are you believing? What thoughts are you encouraging? What words are you speaking? You want to begin to speak the right words into your life generally. Have you ever thought of Noah before? And how God told Noah, out of everybody, say, see, it's only you, guy, you are the only one hmm, that loves me this much. So with you, I want to replenish the earth. So I'm going to destroy the earth with flood. So do you know what you're going to do for me? You're going to build an ark. He gave him the specifications, gave him every single thing that he needed to do. Do you know how long it took Noah to build that ark? It took him 120 years to build that ark. Now, that is the life now that we live here. We live for 120 years right about now. So can you imagine? That is somebody's lifetime. In fact, how many people live up to 120 years? So somebody started building a boat when somebody was born. The person dies. This person is still building that boat. Do you, can you imagine the kind of ridicule that Noah went through? His spouse, his children... Do you know the kind of ridicule they went through seeing somebody building a boat and telling us that it's going to destroy the earth with, with flood from where? They have never experienced rain before. I don't know if you understand this, but against all odds, Noah trusted, he believed and he obeyed. He continued building the ark. He kept doing the same thing. So that's the same way God wants us to be and that's the same way faith is built. Keep thinking the same thoughts. They should be positive. They should be empowering. Keep believing what you want. What do you want? Focus more on it rather than the wind that seems to be blowing or the storm that seems to be brewing. And there is no how. We're not going to be getting to the destination that we hope to be getting to. Thank you so much for listening. Have yourself a fruitful, fruitful day ahead. Bye-bye.